What's up, my beautiful Virgos? Do your gorgeous self a favor and trust your lovely intuition for guiding you to this moon message for your love reading for the first quarter moon in Capricorn. So it's also moving into Aquarius. So this is covering October 2nd through October 5th. And first quarter moon energy is halfway to a full moon, meaning we're ramping up the energy, we're intensifying the energy all the way up to a full manifestation, right? It's about another week before that happens. And first quarter moon energy, this is like really like we're really noticing what we want to get accomplished. Capricorn is definitely the father of the zodiac. So this is all about working hard, really upping the ante, and then it moves into Aquarius, which is all about technology and it's the sign of friendship and bonding so maybe you're working on a business venture online you have online friendships that you want to nurture let's just see what's coming through virgo all right so let's set the intention for clarity only clear answers coming through this reading for virgo what does virgo need to see for the first quarter moon in capricorn who is in their love energy first quarter moon clarity for virgo who's in their love energy I'm gonna take this upright. That feels right to me. The Princess of Discs. This is like the Page of Pentacles energy. So someone's got a crush. Someone definitely has a crush, Virgo. It could be a Capricorn, could be another Virgo, could be a Taurus energy. Someone's feeling you. But they haven't really said anything. The Ace of Swords is in reverse, upright. This is a new opportunity, a new idea. It's like I got wind of a new idea. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. And reverse, this person that has not said anything to you about this crush. We have judgment coming out upright, which I love to see. So there's good judgment in the air. I feel like things are going to work out with judgment upright. I feel like you dig them, right? It's not someone that's kind of stink that you're like, oh, God, who is this person? This is someone that you actually like. This is Scorpio energy, by the way. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Yeah. Let's get more for Virgo. <clears throat> I don't know why too with judgment it's almost making me feel like someone else is gonna say something about this person liking you and spill the beans that way because it makes me think of literal judge energy and you know you have like lawyers representing you in court and stuff and everyone represents someone in the judicial system it's almost like someone's gonna represent this person and tell their secrets or whatever it is they're trying to hide about how they feel about you more for Virgo. Tell me more about how this person feels about Virgo for the first quarter moon in Capricorn. Different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. It's possible this person thinks that's the case, right? Maybe that's why they're not saying anything to you. They're like, Virgo would never feel me, right? Virgo is not into me. Virgo like someone a little bit more sophisticated I'm hearing. They could be like known as like a goof or something. They're telling me to put all these cards back in Virgo. Okay, too many came out. What does Virgo truly need to see about the way this person's feeling for the first quarter moon energy? Twin flame energy, past life love, and I gotta take out the bottom because I felt like it was calling to me, apology. Someone wants to apologize to you, a twin flame from a past life, right? Or someone you definitely dated. I was not expecting this to be someone you dated, Virgo, but this definitely seems like the crush is coming from someone that knows you. Maybe that's why it's so hard for them to say something because they're like, okay, I thought this was over and done with, or that's what you told me you wanted it to be. And clearly that's not the energy here. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's see what else is coming through for you, Virgo. Yeah, and maybe that explains the different pages, right? Because you are like not feeling this person. They were a twin flame. You learned what you needed to learn. But apparently I feel like this person did not, right? They just can't live without their Virgo energy. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Yeah, I feel like they're already lying to themselves by not telling you how they feel and just being out in the open with it. But I feel like they might have deceived you in the past. Right. And it's funny because I said you might be digging this person, too, with judgment upright. Maybe once upon a time you did. 
Or maybe it's like, okay, like I have no ill feelings towards you because I got what I needed to get from that relationship. But I feel like this person's kind of coming in. <clears throat> yeah, it's almost like not, they haven't healed the baggage from the past with you. There's still something in their energy that's vibrating you out. That's why they're in your love vibrational field. Birds. Birds are about messenger energy. This is about information. They're also travel creatures. So near, far, wherever you are, right? That's the energy, Virgo, I feel like from this person. Like they would be willing to travel for you. Ain't no mountain high enough type of energy. This person is willing to cross boundaries for you. Although I feel like they can't cross boundaries with themselves with the Ace of Swords in reverse. Like they're afraid to just be out with it with what they want to tell you yeah they're trapped in a way i'm noticing that too with that that caged up energy and like i said it could be another person i'm getting multiple people energy different pages right we got a lot of birds here birds are definitely a theme it's like someone might tell you how this person's feeling about you someone might spill the beans in that way they're telling me to shuffle for these give me more for virgo Yeah, a little birdie told me, I just heard. Heard it through the grapevine type of energy. I feel like this person's not over you at all, Virgo. Tell me more for Virgo and this person. What are they feeling? What's the first quarter moon energy? The arrow. <laughs> I think this is a sexual innuendo, right? That's like, bro, straight up, I'm just getting hard dick energy. And with the three on there, it could have been a third party energy, right? Maybe that's why you broke it off with this person. But I feel like with the council, that kind of goes with judgment energy. This is definitely someone that I feel like might have learned from their past mistakes. It's interesting, we have 11 and 12 too. It's almost like something's happening in divine order. Yeah, I feel like someone from the past is definitely trying to um, either apologize definitely with apology right there or regroup in some type of way with you or just like say yo I was wrong and I've ascended and this is like the better version of me yeah I feel like you have an apology coming in from a past person who did you wrong but it's it's also like they're afraid to say something so it might come in first from a friend or a mutual friend that's what I'm getting Virgo all right, give me something through the charms for Virgo. What does Virgo need to see for the first quarter moon? And ca oh my God, look at this. And literally this is like this crescent moon energy. Although this is a waning crescent. This would be the crescent we're in, the waxing crescent. Actually, you know what? Crescent energy. So yeah, waxing crescent, it would be towards a waxing gibbous. This is like the energy that just was when it's a waxing crescent. This is definitely the energy of someone trying to ramp up their feelings. And with the moon coming out in general, general, that's like feelings energy, like getting heavy with emotions. This moon phase, for whatever reason, is really weighing on this person's emotions, Virgo. So I feel like they're very like intuitively feeling you for some reason. Maybe karma's finally getting to them. Give me more for Virgo and this person. Wow, we have Mercury and Sagittarius. So this is communication, planet of communication, which actually rules over Virgo. So they're heavy thinking about you. In Sag, which again, we have the arrow right here, Archer energy, eternal optimist. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. This is someone that really wants to interact with you. Nothing is going to stop them. 11th house, Aquarius energy that definitely goes with this moon energy that could also speak to the fact that they might talk to you online right? Technolo technological energy. Um, Aquarius is also about bonding, a union, things coming together. So I definitely feel like there's an apology coming for you, Virgo. So I hope this resonated. Thank you so, so much. And hopefully I will talk to you again very soon.